Hey everybody, I'm Sean Schaub, and today we are gonna kick off our Basics of Plumbing series. And uh, to get things started, we're just gonna go over kind of uh, the real basics of putting, uh, joining PVC pipe and fittings together, uh, kind of some of the things to think about when you're doing it, and uh, the proper technique to make sure that you get a nice solid joint uh, that are leak free and will last for a very long time. All right, so before we get started here, I'm just gonna kind of go over uh, the materials, the tools um, that you need to have for, uh, for joining a, a PVC fitting to some pipe. Um, so I've got some, some disposable gloves. I've got some rags to wipe off the excess uh, cement. I've got a, a good cutting tool. I've got a, a deburring or chamfer tool here. And I've got uh, some purple primer and some PVC cement. We've got a little disclaimer about uh, cementing PVC pipe. The, uh, the cement and the primer have uh, pretty strong fumes, so you wanna make sure wherever you're doing this, uh, you can be working in a well-ventilated area. Uh, if you are stuck in kind of a tight spot or you're you know, in your building inside your greenhouse, um, you, know, you can move a fan in next to you to help blow those fumes away from you uh, or use a respirator. All right, so the first thing you're probably gonna be doing is cutting down your pipe to length, uh, you know, wherever you're putting this. Um, is most likely gonna be cut to a custom length. So um, there's a number of different cutting tools. These ratcheting ones are the ones that I've found to be uh, the best for, for what I'm typically doing. Um, the only thing is, is uh, like a tool like this will only go up to two inch pipe. So if you've got larger diameter pipe, uh, just select the right cutting tool for the, the size of pipe that you're using. Um, but the main thing that you want uh, from your tool is to make a nice square cut. Um, one of the most common areas for uh, leaks or just for a bad joint to happen is if you have an uneven cut, um, it's not gonna seal up properly because the way that these fittings are designed is inside of the actual fitting, uh, this is tapered a little bit. So the very bottom of this fitting is um, where most of the sealing is taking place. Um, so you'll notice like when you put a fitting just dry onto a piece of pipe. It's only gonna go in maybe halfway, um, which is what you want. That means that taper is there. If you notice that your pipe goes in really easily when it's dry like this, uh, you're gonna wanna either get new pipe or new fitting because something is, is wrong and it's not gonna seal properly. So we'll go ahead and cut this pipe. We wanna make sure it's nice and square, like I said. So these ratcheting ones are really nice. It uh, makes it really easy. So we go through that, we've cut our pipe, we've got a nice, uh, a nice square cut that's gonna seal up nicely in the bottom of this fitting here. Um, the next step is to go ahead and we're just gonna remove this outer uh, very sharp edge. Um, so with this chamfer tool here, we'll just rotate it around. And this just kind of takes that sharp edge off and uh, it allows it to, when you're pushing this in to the glue in the fitting, it won't just scrape it all to the back and push it around. It'll actually allow glue to come up and over and really coat over the exterior of the pipe and the interior of the uh, fitting to make a nice strong joint. So now that we've got that done, uh, what you wanna do is make sure there's no dirt or grime or anything like that on the edge of this pipe. So just make sure it's, it's clean as well as with your fitting here. So once you've got that nice and clean, we're gonna start with the primer. So since uh, we're actually creating kind of a weld here, uh, what the primer is doing is, is actually softening the pipe and the fitting um, so that when we put the cement on, it'll actually join together where it's been softened. So this is a really important part. And uh, the, the primer also comes in clear as well. Uh, purple is really common because it, uh, it's a visual um, aid in showing that the pipe has been primed. And a lot of times, um, a lot of inspectors will require it to meet code. So when we start this, we're gonna go around the pipe. You wanna do a nice even coat all around the exterior to the depth that your fitting will, uh, will cover. So nice and even. And do the same thing around the fitting, the inside of the fitting. And you really want to work that primer in to make sure that plastic is getting nice and soft. 
right after you finished your, uh, your priming of the pipe and the fitting, we're ready to go ahead and immediately apply the uh, cement to the joint. So uh, the most common uh, point for leaks to happen when, uh, when joining PVC pipe like this is just not using enough cement. So we wanna make sure we get an ample amount of cement on here. So I'm gonna start with uh, the pipe and just like you applied the primer, a nice even coat. And you can be pretty generous with this. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the same thing inside the fitting. Make sure to cover the entire inside of the fitting. <clears throat> and then I'll go ahead and do one more coat on here. And you wanna work pretty fast with this because it sets up fairly quick. Once those are both applied, you're gonna insert the pipe into the fitting with a little bit of a twisting action and then you're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds. That's important because, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the fitting is tapered, so a lot of times when you push this in, it's gonna to wanna to push back and push the pipe out of the fitting. So if I hold it there while it's, uh, while it's curing for these first 30 seconds, it's gonna make sure that it stays put and creates a nice, strong seal. So when you finish, uh, finish gluing your joint, you'll wanna inspect around the joint. You should see a nice little bead of cement that's been pushed out and that lets you know that you've, uh, you've put enough glue on there and it should be a nice, uh, a nice solid seal. And then you can go ahead and just remove that excess um, to kind of clean up the, the fitting there. If you're gluing uh, something like a, a T or an elbow, um, a fitting like that, that uh, the, it's very direction dependent, uh, just remember that the, the cement is gonna set up very quickly. Um, so you wanna orient it the way that you're gonna need it. So, uh, so make sure that uh, you keep that in mind before you apply the glue and, and, start, uh, and start cementing. All right, so now that we've gone over how to, uh, to join a fitting, a PVC fitting to a PVC pipe um, by cementing, and, uh, and, you, and you know how to do that process now, um, the next kind of most common uh, way that you're gonna be joining fittings uh, will be uh, by threading them together with, uh, with these shreds here. So uh, we're just gonna go really quickly go over um, kind of the, the couple of different things you can use to help um, lubricate the threads and uh, eventually uh, result in a nice uh, leak-free joint. So there are a couple of different things that we use uh, pretty, pretty often. Um, your, your regular old uh, Teflon tape here and a, uh, a Teflon paste. Um, so they both kind of do the same things. For the most part, they can be used interchangeably. Um, the tape's a little bit easier to use in my opinion. Um, so we will uh, show you how to do that now. So really the only, the main thing to consider when, uh, when using Teflon tape on some threads is the, the, the direction you're putting the tape on. You wanna make sure that when you begin threading the fitting into the, into the female fitting, that the tape is, is put on such that when you're threading it in, it actually smooths down the tape and doesn't unravel it. If you, if you put this on backwards, when you thread it in, it's gonna catch the little flap and it's gonna unthread everything you've just done and it's, it's not gonna work super well. Um, so I'll show you the way that I put it on. There's a lot of different ways that people will do this. So uh, as long as you're putting it on the right direction, it doesn't really matter um, how you go about doing it. But what I do is I put the, my finger through the roll here and I've got the, the tape coming off like this and we're gonna apply it in a, I guess a clockwise direction here. And you wanna do, you know, you can be pretty, pretty generous with this stuff. Um, so I'll do, you know, cover the entire uh, length of the threads with several good wraps and then uh, go ahead and break it off. And you'll see here, here's my flap. So this is the way my, my tape is going. So you'll see, if we go back to our, uh, our old rule of uh, righty tidy lefty loosey here, when I begin to thread this, if this were my fitting, I'm gonna thread this in and it's gonna just smooth down that, that flap of tape. If it were going the other way and I did that, it's gonna just pull that tape off and uh, it's not gonna work super well. So now my joint's nice and taped up here and it's gonna provide really good lubrication and a little bit of sealing power um, but it's just gonna allow us to get this, this fitting nice and tight. So you'll just start threading it in. And uh, depending on what you're doing, you know, you might need to get some wrench, a wrench or, uh, or whatever to get it nice and tight. 
but um, that's really all there is to it. <coughs> um, once you get that nice and snug, it should uh, provide a nice leak-free joint. Um, one thing to note when you are threading in plastic fittings like this, um, with, with a good coating of, of Teflon tape, it's going to allow you to really thread it in pretty deep. Um, you want to just be careful because you can, you'll really easily be able to thread this in far enough to where you'll just break the fitting. So make sure you get it snug, but not, not too tight where you're in danger of cracking the plastic. All right, another product you can use to, uh, to help seal threaded joints like this is a, uh, a Teflon paste. It uh, usually comes in a little container like this. It's gonna have a, a brush attached to the lid like that. It's a fairly thick paste. Um, and to apply this, you're just gonna uh, apply a nice even layer to the inside of these threads here. Um, so get that smoothed out along the, the full length of those threads. And this is gonna do the same thing pretty much as, uh, as the Teflon tape that we just talked about. Um, so once you've got that one done, sometimes I'll put a little bit extra on, the, on these male threads here as well. To make sure we get a nice, uh, nice coverage. Okay, and then the same thing, once you've got it applied, and just thread in your fitting, get it snug, but be careful not to get it too far in there to where you'll crack one of the fittings. Well, uh, thanks for watching today. Hopefully that gave you um, some good tips on how to uh, successfully join these, uh, these types of fittings. Um, this is our, our first uh, video in this uh, plumbing series. So um, let us know if you'd like to see more detail, less detail, um, if there's uh, certain, certain types of things you're wondering about, let us know in the comments below. Um, we're going to be doing additional videos on uh, flexible tubing, you know, barbed fittings, hose clamps, uh, bulkhead fittings, valves, those types of things. Um, what they are, when they're used, how to properly join them, uh, some of the things they're used for. Um, but yeah, if you've got anything else that you'd like to see or, or ideas or uh, things that we can do better, let us know in the comments below and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. After you've applied the primer, ideally you want it to still be wet when you are... <laughs> of course. All right, cut. <laughs>